When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapist. By Donald J. Trump. I come today to discuss a very important issue. On Tuesday, November 8th, the United States elected its 45th president. And that president is Donald Trump. Now Trump has slandered Latinos on numerous occasions. His biggest saying how he would deport 11 million undocumented immigrants and build a wall across the 2,000 mile Mexican border. Now I understand the frustration of many saying they're stealing our jobs, they're using our benefits, they're taking my spot in college. Well the people making these allegations are ignorant and uneducated and don't really know how much they contribute to society. Well what would happen if Trump came forth with this plan? Well first, it would cost around $620 billion. That's a little over 17% of the federal budget. We would fall into a depression greater than the 1930 and 2007 economic collapse combined. Now, they're stealing our jobs. Well, 50% of farm workers are undocumented. Now, who wants to work seven days a week, 12 hours a day in the sun with no benefits, no retirement, while barely making $6 a day? If we deport these people, who will work these jobs? Will you? Will you? Now, they're on welfare. They're using our benefits. They're on social security. Well, annually, immigrants take around $1 billion in benefits, but they contribute $13 billion in taxes. So not only are they paying for themselves, they're paying for others as well. And yeah, it may sound crazy, but immigrants do pay taxes like everyone else. And now we move into our last segment. They're taking my spot in college. Well, that's just an excuse for your laziness. How about you stop complaining, stop crying, and study a little harder? Now let me tell you something. This isn't white America. This isn't black America. This isn't Asian America. This isn't Latino America. This is the United States of America, a place where if you're willing to work hard enough, you can achieve the American dream, despite of where you come from, despite of how you look, despite of what language you speak, despite of who you love. The American dream, now gone to 11 million people. So now you may ask, well, what do we do? Well, what we can do is fight for those who cannot fight. Speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. Stay united. Have faith. 